Hello everyone. Um, Sheila Stratton here, nutrition and wellness coach with Community Action. And we are, we're gonna eat today. We're going to take um, some of the delicious bounty that we grew in our virtual garden over at our K Street Head Start Center. And we're gonna turn it into a couple of um, really simple, great summer dishes, right? some salsa and we are also going to be making some tabbouleh. So first thing I'm going to do is make the salsa but I will um, let you know that we did do one step for our tabbouleh and that is that we got the, the bulgur wheat which is the grain we use, um, got that resting all you do is you just pour some hot water over that and then let it sit for about 15 minutes um, easy peasy so that's resting and so now we're gonna just make a simple salsa the basic ingredients are tomatoes cilantro pepper of some sort right this is an, um, an Anaheim pepper which is they can be really hot or they can be a little a uh, little more on the mild side. Um, they're sort of a surprise pepper in that way. So, and I have some onion. This is green onion. And you might recall too that um, we're gonna use garlic in our salsa recipe also. And remember that we grew this in our garden and so we definitely wanna use it in, I wanna use it in our salsa. So we're gonna use that. guys all you all you got to do with these guys is um, you might like to chop those roots off the very end pieces I tend to go I don't know no real rhyme or reason um, but I tend to when I do this I tend to go about halfway up and then I think okay that's enough you guys is when you're working with um, especially with hot peppers like we could eat these seeds if we wanted to we could eat this little if you can see that that little membrane part um, but there's extra heat in those parts so if you're a little scared like I am um, and I know some people like they really you either really like cilantro or you really don't like cilantro I like to just sort of bunch them up like that. And then, you know, with this type of a knife, it's pretty, pretty quick. Watch your finger and keep moving it back. See, so it's not like a sawing thing, it's just a, you know, just like that. Just one more ingredient to get ready. That is the lime. And put the lime on top. And you just um, pour that in if you want to. You can do it either way. This side doesn't have a, a little strainer for the pulp, and, and this side does. Um, so, whatever your preference is on that, you can pour accordingly. Last thing is just a little touch of salt. We don't need much, but um, a little bit will sort of bring up the flavor just a bit. Okay, so I think we got everything. I like to go back and double check my list of recipes. Onion, garlic, lime, salt, peppers, tomatoes, cilantro. That's it. And we'll give it a stir. is that you 
Now I don't know you guys if you noticed, I didn't do any measuring. <laughs> Um, you do, you can't really go wrong. Uh, pretty good, huh? So we're gonna let that sit for a little bit um, and we will enjoy our salsa um, in, a, in a short little while. Okay, so now we're gonna make our tabbouleh. And if you um, recall, we had already started our bulgur and we had dry grain, right? And it was just a one-to-one -one ratio. It was so three-quarter cup of bulgur wheat and three-quarter cup of um, water. And I put a little bit of lemon juice in the water also. So that, that's our bulgur wheat. So put that over here while we, while we do our prep. So the other thing I want to say about making this tabbouleh is um, this recipe actually comes to me, it comes to us, compliments of Raja. She's one of our early Head Start home-based family educators. Uh, she is a master in the kitchen, so um, she shared her recipe with me. So let me review the ingredients, right? Um, so we've got our bulgur wheat and lemon juice, and then we've got fresh parsley. And if you've been following along with our virtual gardening, you know that this is parsley that we grew in our garden and we just harvested it. And a little bit of mint goes a long way. So um, I just have one little stalk of, of mint. So we'll use that. And some green onion, tomatoes. We have plenty of tomatoes. These, and these are from our garden. Cucumber. Raja says this is optional, but we can add a cucumber in this salad. And then olive oil and lemon juice. So I have a couple of lemons here. Those are our ingredients. So just like with our salsa, it's just a matter of chopping and mixing and enjoying. So let's get, let's get to it. So one step that you could take, um, Raja's recipe, she suggests adding the tomato and cucumber and then um, salting it a little bit. The purpose of that is you're, you're gonna let that salt draw a little bit of the moisture out of the cucumber and out of the tomato. So if you want to, you know, if you wanna have it be um, a little less, I guess, wet, then you could do that. I am, I'm gonna skip that step just because of, because uh, I'm hungry, right, <laughs> for time. Um, but to be true to Raj's recipe, I wanted to mention that. Um, and it's definitely a worthwhile thing to do. So, so far, that's what we've got. I can't see that very good, there we go. Okay, and then, going to put the mint in and this is what I like to do to take this off the stem super easy you just kind of start at the top and then you can just sort of strip it down stem is thrown away mmm mint smells so good and then you've got your little handful there and it doesn't matter what order you, you put this stuff in, it's all gonna get mixed in. So I just thought, oh, maybe I should have waited and do the herbs together. Doesn't matter, it's all going in there together. And you're not soaking it, it's just a little, just a little drizzle. So that probably is about a tablespoon. Season sufficiently with lemon juice, salt, and olive oil. Those are Raja's instructions. So sufficiently, but because I'm the nutrition and wellness coach, we want to be careful with our salt. <laughs> so we don't want to go too, too much. Actually, a nice trick I like to do is put some in my hand and then I can see how much I have. It smells really, 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 really good. That's how it is with fresh food, right? You, uh, it's just a really nice, full sensory experience. Um, so, 
check it out. I got a messy table and that is a really good sign, right? We uh, made some good food here. Um, tabbouleh, ready? It's so good, so fresh, delicious. I shouldn't say this, but I really wish you were here to enjoy it with me. Um, but this is how easy it can be, right? Just a few fresh ingredients, chop, 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 throw it together. Really, really good. Thank you.